I steal the power of your double. <laughs> hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, let's head inside and see about uh, figuring out how to fix this boat. And you, Iriel. Nothing's happening, is it? No. I guess he was missing his soul, after all. Curses. I was so close. I just... I didn't think it was telling the truth. Look on the bright side. You just killed your first dragon. Yeah, I guess I did, didn't I? I mean, it was wounded and helpless, and I kinda pitied it. But I guess that's one for the scoreboard nonetheless. <laughs> All right, failed, huh? I mean, you know you're really not dragonborn. Nor are you truly a dark elf. And you're definitely not my sister. Now, let's go. The divines you're here. Something's wrong with Tassius. What happened? He just fell into a deep sleep. The We've tried everything to wake him. He just hasn't. All right, then take me to him. He's right this way. All right, so we had to choose a new party member, because I suppose Tassius. Girl, you ran off and left me. We found him like this. I don't know what to do. Hold on. What's happening? Cassius, what have you done? How have I been torpid and I didn't even drink the elixir? Dola, what are you doing here? Well, first of all, where are we? This, this is a prison of the mind. So, apparently you've fallen into a deep sleep and I'm here to bring you back. Good luck with that. Oh! I've been really? searching for a way out for years. Years? Every time I see a little progress, I end up right back where I started. Like hopelessly turning the pages of an endless chapter. Alright, well how can we escape? If I knew that, I wouldn't still be here. Then follow me. I'll find a way out. Truth is, I'm not certain there is a way. There's always a way. Not permanently, at least. But if you think you can find one, I suppose I can give it one more try. Well, I think we probably need to go back that way, but let's see what's over here. always hope that it would be some powerful artifact that I can take back into the real world. Oh, I see some... ghosts? Let's see.
I'm not sure what I'm feeling like doing today. Or perhaps some hand-to-hand -hand combat. Where are you? There. An amulet of Mara. Is that it? Oh, wait, here. Yeah. So that was it. trouble seeing. All right, stay with me. I What's wonder, this? do you truly believe that the support of your peers will be enough to get you through? What happens should they fail you? When they're absent and you're left alone with your thoughts, you don't have the strength to endure this torment alone. Don't act surprised. You knew this would be your fate. My fate is not yet sealed. Not will I still have strength. A good friend once told me that. Oh! It breathes no more. All right, you did. I couldn't move for a moment. So, who is this supposed to be down here in the lava? Some doppelganger? All right, well, I suppose we're moving on. I have another thought. Can I steal the power of your double? <laughs> There. Thank you. Someone else over there waiting. Always. Oh, it's your brother. Hello. Hello, brother. I. I'm sorry. I should have been there for you. I should have. Should is a hollow word. The past is static, unchangeable. True regret, dear brother, is watching from the void as the people you left behind struggle with the meaning of your disappearance. I beg of you, Tassius, do not repeat my mistake. Will it ever get easier? Does the pain end one day? You have to trust, against yourself, that it will pass. And it will. I won't tell you it will be easy. The choice is only the beginning. The thoughts, the suffocation, they won't fade overnight. But it gets easier the more you press on. No one is so far gone that they can't find themselves again. Hmm. That was a dramatic exit. Tassius? Huh? Oh, we can actually level you up. Well, we'll save that for later. After all, this is just a dream. <laughs> oh, well, look at this. 
out of the darkness and into the light. I suppose this is some sort of representation of the island, and I can't go any further. You, come on. I can't move beyond this point. What's supposed to happen now? What do you seek? The rain has stopped. What does that mean? The final page of an endless chapter. The next awaits. Tassius? Dover? Oh, thank the divines you're alive. What? We thought we lost you. Were it not for Dover, you might have. Well... So, I finally completed someone's <laughs> mission successfully. Is there anything else? What's the occasion? Wait, let me guess. Bryn? A surprisingly accurate guess. Well, I heard the two of you conversing. I'm not sure where this conversation is going. You were spying on us. Of course not. The walls on this ship are thinner than the patience of a danger. I overhear more than I'd like to on most occasions, believe me. What else have you overheard? Hazen sings in his sleep. Tia spends all night writing, only to crumble it up and throw it out in the morning. And Roland prays three times a day. Oh, and Zephyr can be heard giggling about the various mortals he's beheaded. Never can get used to that. Well, Bryn wants you to stop giving her advice. Of course she does. I wish she wouldn't see it so. Her soul is troubled, to say the least. I believe she pushed me away because others who offered their advice did not have her best interest in mind. It's unfortunate. But does that mean I should give up entirely? Surely nothing good can come from letting her destructive beliefs consume her. Just leave her be. I respect your decision. Even if I don't agree with it. Now, let's train you. In what way do you think I can improve? I look forward to it. Let's see here. Well, I've seen you conjure things, so let's... I see. Go ahead with this. I look forward to it. I see. Conjuration? I look forward to it. And increase your health. I probably should have increased your magic, but anyway. I'm glad that's sorted. All right, so you've leveled. I think there's some more people here that need leveling. I hear hammering. What? All right, let, let me use this for a moment. Atronach nails. Here, repair ship. So... Let me get a list of the things here. All right, so two bags. 
of Atronach nails. Ancient bone glue. Two leshen wood. All right, so apparently I have the Atronach. I an Atronach ore. Let me go ahead. Okay, so we should have the nails that we need. All right, so I need the wood and the glue. Yes, I'm ready to get out of here. I, I don't know about anyone else. View merchant wares. Let's see here. Materials. Ancient bone. How much did I need? Leshen wood. Wait, did I just cancel everything I did? No, I don't think so. Or maybe I did. All right, let's try this again. out of this, though. It's not giving me any choice. to make this ancient bone glue? Yeah. Now, repair ship is an option. And behold, the ship should be repaired. You. Yes? Let's level you up. I'm ready. I look forward to it. We'll go with armsmen. I see. I look forward to it. We'll go with one-handed. I see. I look forward to it. And an increase of health. I see. I'm that's glad it. that's sorted. Yes, yeah, so am I. So you 
Who else needs to be trained? You would be right to not trust Hayden. <laughs> His careless approach to problems would be one thing if he was the only one affected. But more often than not, he drags others down with him. Take this shipwreck, for example. Men like him don't believe in anything beyond their own desires. That makes them unpredictable, untrustworthy, and dangerous. And what makes you distrust Hayden? Have you asked him why he came along? A promise he made while intoxicated, he'll tell you. Pure jargon. Even I could think of a more compelling excuse. I think it's safe to assume he has alternative motives at play. Well, good point. I'll keep an eye on him. That's good to hear. I'm glad to see that not all were deceived by his charm or false promises. Is something on your mind? Yes, I suppose there is one matter that has weighed heavily on my heart of late. I've overheard whispers that Miss Fortune guided a knight of a separate order to this island, years before we arrived. I would like to seek him out, should time permit my leave. What order does this knight swear allegiance to? He's the Knight of the Rose, a faction of crusaders operating out of Wayrest in the province of High Rock. My order has long maintained good relations with theirs. Even when the other paladins of the council dismissed us as drunken fools, the Knights of the Rose stepped in and defended our name. Didn't we do this already? Why would you want to speak with him? I thought we went to his cave, which is just up the hill, and he's in there badly injured. Why are we doing this again? Many events have transpired since we departed Solitude. Events I did not foresee, and I am unsure what to make of. The counsel of a fellow knight will help me shed light on the meaning of them. Perhaps then the road ahead will not seem so bleak. All right, you're free to go and meet with him. I would like to request your presence as well. If wisdom is to be offered to our company, then I believe our leader should be there to hear it. Well, I don't need his advice. Perhaps, but we do not yet know what his advice will be. I think it's likely that his wisdom will pertain to all of us. All right. Do you know where he is? He's taken to a life of solitude and tranquility, choosing to reside in one of the many abandoned caverns on the island. I'll mark the exact location of his abode on your map. All right, then. That's odd. Unless I'm losing my mind, which is entirely possible. I thought we already visited that person. You. Yeah? Is something on your mind? Yes, I suppose there is. A crew member of yours approached me with a contract earlier. You want in on it? You want my help? I want insurance. There's no guarantee you won't repair the ship and set sail while I'm away. As long as you're within earshot, I have the possibility of getting off this rock. What does... <laughs> I just repaired the ship. All right, well, I'm in, only if we split the payment. Of course. I'm an assassin, not a thief. When the body drops, you'll get your share. I'll even let you pick between septums or the local currency. Good. Which of the companions hired you? Trade secret, Dova. I don't disclose the identities of my clients. Is it for the same person that you originally came here to kill? As convenient as that would be, no. This one is for a local resident. A member of the crew performed the Black Sacrament? They just offered compensation for a hit. 
There's no need to bring the Night Mother into this. We've had this conversation before, too. Hmm. It could be the update that occurred to this reality that has reset some of these events. All right, who's the target of this contract? He supplies the neighborhood with moon sugar. It's the secret ingredient in Old Crescent, this island's attempt at a potable rum. Problem is, no one's seen this drug peddler in over five years. Nobody that's willing to talk, at least. That makes locating his whereabouts our first order of business. <laughs> All right. You know where these distributors are. Not yet, but they'll be easier to locate than the target is. As soon as I have something, I'll let you know. Good. And you. At least you're not holding a bottle in your hand. You're here to spy on me. I'll save you the trouble. Early this morning, I sold my soul to Lord Dagon for a bottle of Blackbriar mead and a stale sweet roll. I have since been systematically weaving together a diabolical plot to destroy my only friends on this island, so that I may please my newfound overlord. And I would have gotten away with it if it weren't for that meddling knight and his substantially authentic accusations. And how did you know he wanted me to keep an eye on you? Uh, educated guess. He confronted me about these suspicions not long ago, and since then he's been trying to turn the crew against me. Heard him talking with Katri and Tia earlier. Guess I didn't see a reason he'd spare you from it. He thinks you're untrustworthy. Because he's so noble, right? Look, think what you want of me, but I've seen what men like him are capable of. I've watched heroes, like your friend, execute prisoners, starve out villages, and take the women of captured settlements as trophies. Did they have any second thoughts? Absolutely not. The rule book approved, and that's the only validation they needed. Roland likes to think that values are derived from an oath. I choose to rely on my own judgment. That's the difference between us. Well, you don't seem to stand for anything. Is that what you think? I stand for my word, and I stand for my friends. Although, uh, I'll admit, that line has been blurry of late. Sure, I have no interest in being the hero, but I'm no villain either. Well... You have my support in this. Roland can be overly pious at times. Well, I'm glad you feel that way. Don't get me wrong, I don't hate the knight. I just think he's an idiot. You said you'd get us to our destination in one piece. As I will. Think of this as the scenic route, complete with a brief <laughs> interval of a tropical resort really? at no additional cost. After a little sawdust and nails, we'll be off to find your parents again, as promised. What happened? I don't know what kind of a map we were using to navigate, but it failed to account for massive plots of land. The path ahead was supposed to be clear. So I stepped away for a quick meat break. And what do I come back to? Raging waters, heavy rain, and an island that fell out of the sky. You were drinking? That's what you got out of it? Yes. Even sober, I wouldn't have been able to steer away in time. So, we crashed here because you were piloting drunk. Not sure if you remember this part, but the island doesn't exist! I'll not be blamed for faulty topography. All right, good day to you. And I suppose I need to talk to you again, too. You should tell Jade she could keep her opinions to herself. Why do we even allow a set this worshipping shrew like her on board anyway?
What happened? Jade had the nerve to imply that my contributions to the group are worthless, and that you'd be better off in my absence. <sighs> Stuck up, intrusive little harlot. Like a member of the Dark Brotherhood is so much better for the group. <laughs> well, she might have a point. You are pretty useless. Out of all the people here, I thought you'd at least have my back in this. <laughs> Fine. Be that way. See if I care. And see if I care as well. Is something on your mind? I've finally gotten around to writing your character's first scene! Oh, here Wanna we hear are. it? Is this the... No, oh. I don't. Okay. We've been through this before. All right, we need to make sure we are getting proper traction on getting off this island. All right, you. Good day. There's something on your mind. Look, about that whole debacle in the cave. Are you ready to give me some answers? No. I told you why I must keep that under wraps. It's nothing personal. What about it? I want to go back, to finish what I started. Really? And as before, I don't believe going alone would be prudent. I'm not going until you explain what this is about. I already made you aware of the danger that comes with such knowledge. These spirits already possess the advantage. I don't want to give them any more leverage than necessary. They don't have any leverage. It's more dangerous for you to keep me in the dark. I... suppose you're right. You already know more than I wanted, after all. It's probably advisable to let you in on the rest. The spirit who built that monument. She was my apprentice. <laughs> and you really think this is news to me? <laughs> Why does she hate you? I wasn't always a vigilant of Stendar. Well, that's obvious. Long ago, I held a position of authority among the ranks of the Mythic Dawn. What? She that isn't obvious. She as my pupil. You're a Daedra worshipper. That's rich. <laughs> was a Daedra worshipper. Much to my shame. Time, experience, and regret have a way of changing the role we play in this world. And just what position did you have? I was the tongue of Daedra. The tongue? My purpose <laughs> was to direct personnel and cargo into waters dominated by the Daedric Lord's curse. I sent people to this very isle so they would perish in Dagon's reapings. You have a lot of blood on your hands. I'm well aware. As you said, it's better to overcome evil than be born good. I'm not proud of who I used to be. That's why I joined the Vigilant. That's why I came here, to the resting place of my victims. If only to do right by their name. How so? The last order I carried out for Dagon was to send my apprentice to him. A test of my loyalty. I adhered to his demand, but remorse soon weighed heavily on my soul. I gave up the dawn that very night and fled from my home on the coast of Hammerfell. The cave we were ambushed in, my apprentice cursed it. The halls are haunted by every soul I doomed to die by sending them here. You should have told me earlier. I'm still not convinced I should have told you at all. She will use your understanding of my past to pit us against each other. Oh, I tell you, you really think that there's some relationship that I have with you. You're just a tool. 
nothing more. So you want me to put these spirits to rest? I can't run from my sins forever, and I can't live knowing that people still suffer from my past work. I started to realize that when your sister showed me her map. She's not my sister. Are you ready to go back to the cave? Not yet. I want to go in with a clear mind. I'll let you know when I'm ready. Oh, please, take your time. <laughs> Let's see here. Have you found anything important in your studies? You could say that. I now know that all of the gates here operate off a single sigil stone. The one you discovered. Destroy that and Dagon loses his grip on this land entirely. The trouble is... Is what? As soon as the Daedra commander of a gate is killed, that portal will self-destruct. A measure intended to safeguard against a reverse invasion. The commander of the gate you entered was only wounded. We got lucky. What about the problem of being trapped in oblivion after the stone is removed? I've been thinking about that, and, well, I don't think that's as much a problem as we first believed. You sound awfully emotional. There's nothing emotional about this situation. We will get out of this. Even if I have to destroy this entire island and every living being on it, along with Maroon's Dagon. So what do you mean? I mean, if one of us stays back and destroys the stone after the others escape, I would volunteer if it comes to it. Oh, good. At least then our losses would be minimal. Well, that sounds like a plan. I don't think we're finished here. <laughs> well, the nerve. All right, is there anyone else? Oh, what about Bryn? We still need to try to do her mission. Bryn? Remember when I told you there was some kind of supernatural force keeping Mount Ander from erupting? Well, turns out... I was right. Shocker. How so? Mount Andor started to erupt when you dislodged the sigil stone. Only when the stone was returned did the eruption diminish. Dagon is keeping the mountain from flaring up. And what does this mean? Other than that Dagon can obliterate us at a moment's notice if he wants to. Well... I suppose if you ever plan on sabotaging the connection between here and Oblivion again, the mountain will erupt. So try to integrate that into your future schemes. Mm, that's good to know. Do you need something, or can I get back to my notes? Please, as you were. All right, I think I'm supposed to talk to Jade now. And Roland needs to go meet this person again. You? So you're what? Tia's errand oh. boy now? Will you please? Did you tell Tia that she was worthless? I believe the phrase was as useful as a stamina potion. But to answer your question, yes, that was me. Well, I can't argue with that. But why provoke her like this? She's entitled, arrogant, and worst of all, spineless. I've dealt with spoiled offspring of successful families before. They usually find themselves associates of my line of work. They're all the same. They don't know what it's like to grow up in a world where everything isn't given to them on a silver platter. Hmm. 
forget I mentioned it. It's already slipped my mind. Is something on your mind? Listen, about that crew member of yours I came here to kill. When it happens, you understand it's not personal, right? Hm. Of course. It's just business. You are, after all, a member of the Dark Brotherhood. <laughs> Good. Against my better judgment, I'm starting to enjoy your company. I'd hate to have a falling out over a simple contract. In other news, two of the Moon Sugar distributors have been located. We can eliminate them at your earliest convenience. Any recommendations? It might be a good idea to kill them discreetly to not damage your reputation with the locals. But as long as they're dead, I don't care how we go about it. <laughs> Very well. Okay, I think that should do for the moment. What time is it anyway? One o'clock in the morning. Let me get some rest. And then we'll head out in the morning. 